Good afternoon, Daniel, and welcome to our studios today in London. Thank you, and thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to be awarding you and Away No Future um, with the award Fine Wine Investment Firm of the Year. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. It's great receiving this award. We are uh, very humble and honoured uh, to you receiving it. Thank you. On behalf of the European, well done again. Thank you very much. In the last 50 years, fine wine investments have made significant financial gains for those who've bought into the sector. Well, that trend looks set to continue as Brexit uncertainty has led investors to search for a secure alternative haven in which to park their cash. Oweno Future, one of the leading operators in this sector, has an expert team of consultants who pride themselves on how they've revolutionised the way that wine collectors are working in this market. Well, for more about the company and what it's doing, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined in the studio by Daniel Carnio, who's the Managing Director and Founder of Oweno Future. A very good day to you, Daniel. Thank you so much for joining us. That introduction, clearly, wine taking off as an investment over the last 50 years. What's it like going forward? Can we see similar gains? Um, yeah, absolutely. I believe so. I mean, in terms of the market itself, it's growing very much year after year. As you mentioned yourself, the uncertainty and the volatility that we see in the traditional asset basically attract a lot of people to differentiate their portfolio into some tangible assets like uh, like wine, luxury goods, I mean, watches, uh, cars and uh, other, other investment as well are becoming popular and fine wine is one of the most profitable at the moment. When we say profitable, what sort of profits are we talking about? Um, it very much depends, but we can say an average has been show of uh, around 10% at least a year. So, which is a very good return and on that you have a uh, uh, financial benefit in the sense that the most of the fine wine is uh, uh, tax exempt so you don't have to pay a capital gain tax on it which is well a great benefit of <laughs> that course. sounds pretty good but it's, so it's 10 percent each year and that's over the last yeah. 50 years so Absolutely. going forward can we see what 12 15 20 um, percent potentially probably, potentially yeah uh, we can uh, we can speculate on the uh, on the growth of the market as well uh, and uh, of course due to the fact that it is a market dictated by supply and demand with the demand always increasing and the production on the contrary cannot increase because it's regulated by by limited by nature what we can see is probably a better return for the wine that is consumed on a yearly basis now in the introduction i talked about the fact that Oweno Futures is, is quite radical in terms of what it's doing. What makes it different to its competitors? And why do you think that people should go to you rather than other wine operatives? What makes you stand out, in other words? Uh, well, I can, think, <laughs> uh, I can think about many reasons that uh, makes it a bit different compared to the, the competition. Uh, what I will say um, that is most important for us is the incentive that we have to uh, deliver uh, deliver a very good result for our client because uh, for instance we don't have a management fee we don't take commission up front of a 10-15% that other company do but we take a commission at the back when we liquidate the wine so um, our uh, our goal let's say is to make money with our client and not from them uh, which I think is quite important and uh, on top of that what we try to have is a fully managed service uh, which means we take care of everything for them and uh, literally make it, the process uh, stress-free, let's say. OK, so it is a tailored service. So let's have a hypothetical situation. I've come to you as a potential customer. I've decided to sign up. So how do you... How do you take me through the journey? Talk me through the process. Well, first of all, we try to have a very personalized approach. So we try to create a relationship with the client in order to understand what is uh, what is your goal, why you are investing. Are you investing because you are creating a portfolio for the loved ones or you are simply diversifying your asset portfolio? So in that case, when you, we understand what you want to achieve, we prepare a wine selection for you to meet this goal. And uh, basically we take you through the process which is uh, very simple and we take care of everything from the purchase, selection of wine, transfer into a bonded warehouse account where you control the stock and you can take advantage of the fact that it's a tangible asset and we help you out through the liquidation process as well. So um, it's pretty straightforward to be fair and uh, one of our key simplicity as well. And it's fascinating as well that some people are using them in a portfolio not just to help themselves but also something that they can pass on as well. 
Well, absolutely. I mean, the fact that wine mature for a very long time makes it a very, very long-lasting product. So in that case, you can think about having an extremely long-term strategy for, uh, for your portfolio. Uh, it doesn't need to be something one or two or even five years. It can be 10, 15 or even 20 years. So in that case, it's something that you really can pass on to other people as well. Mm. And what about the initial outlay on the part of the, the customer? I mean, do you, do you need to have a lot of money or can you just um, have... Not at all. I mean, uh, if you think about it, 10, 15 or... Uh, 10 15 years ago was something more for sophisticated investors let's say and nowadays uh, as we mentioned the market has increased to an extent that uh, even a normal family man can have a portfolio of wine and actually a lot of our clients are normal everyday people that uh, just try to diversify their saving into a more clever option let's say so we don't have absolutely to have a lot of money it can be just a very simple uh, a small portfolio a few a few mm. cases here and there and it can just grow from there obviously absolutely. as your financial situation dictates Indeed. but i mean what, what are the challenges facing this sector because it looks very good at the moment yes. but I mean clearly they, there are they, they ha either are or have been headwinds so how does how do you hedge against that and is the sector perhaps more volatile compared to others or is it pretty stable? Uh, well, let's say as with uh, any other great uh, performing asset, they attract a lot of uh, a lot of people that want to take advantage literally of uh, of the benefit of the product itself. But a lot of unscrupulous people as well that are trying to take advantage of not so well educated investors. So in that sense, we have seen a problem in the past with, uh, with some companies and uh, as well, some of our competitors, they tend to focus and uh, too much on a, uh, just on a blue chip wine instead of differentiate and do a bit of research on that extent. So it can make the, pro uh, the process a bit painful. What we're trying to do is try to have a broader spectrum and try to analyze the wine, uh, wine market on, at, on its global aspect, let's say, and find a new investment opportunity. What I advise the investor to do is to double check before they do any investment. So double check who are the people you are investing with do they have expertise in finance but also do they have expertise in wine as well we are talking about a very particular asset so they need to know those uh, uh, the, the details about it and uh, as well it's very important to double check the market price nowadays thanks to the internet it's very easy to double check if you are buying a product at the price you are supposed to and that's where the relationship comes in certainly at the very indeed. beginning of that process that, that we went through as well uh, indeed we try to make it very straightforward for our client but still I advise them to uh, double check on every, every Everything we send, uh, we send through in terms of material. We advise where to check, and we tell them uh, where ourselves we take uh, the market price. So we try to make it as transparent as possible for them. Mm. Well, clearly you're doing something right because you've been Thank awarded you Fine Wine Investment Firm of the Year in Europe. This is the proof. So congratulations <laughs> on that. But what does that mean to your business having an award like this, and what what message? does it send out? Uh, well, first of all, we are uh, very humbled and honoured to receive this award. It's something that was uh, kind of unexpected. It came out of the blue because nobody in the company was expecting such a, such an accolade from uh, from our contemporaries at the moment. And uh, for us, uh, it's, uh, it's again an incentive to work uh, even better, to deliver an even better service for our customer, to work uh, even harder, basically. So uh, we are doing, as you said yourself, something, something right. Which is, uh, which is great, but for the future, what we want to do, we want to improve everything. We want to spread as well the message that uh, fine wine is a very profitable asset. We want to educate more people on that. OK, so you and I meet up in five years' time. Yes. OK, so what sort of a company will we be discussing? How would it have changed? Uh, well, uh, for sure, we're going to have, uh, hopefully, a more international kind of spectrum. We are present at the moment in three countries. Uh, what we want to do, we want to expand internationally. So as a first goal for uh, when the future is going to be uh, a bigger global market, let's say. Um, I don't want to reveal too much, but let's say for us, the very important part of uh, our business is the exit strategy for our customer. So what we'll do, we will develop an even more profitable and uh, better uh, exit strategy strategy for them. So in that we will expand the market and um, of course global exposure will help out. Okay, so exciting times ahead. But Daniel Carnio, congratulations on Thank winning this much. award. And uh, well, I look forward to meeting you again in five years time, <laughs> hopefully over a bottle of something. <laughs> Excellent. Look forward to it. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. Thank you. <laughs>